Imagine waking up one day to discover you are the Punisher. Could you bear the weight of that life? Let's dive into the mind and body of Frank Castle, exploring whether an ordinary person would have any chance of surviving his brutal lifestyle. From insane training regimens to nonstop shootouts, it's time to find out. Could you handle this mission, or would you end up asking for an early retirement? If you think military training is easy, get ready to rethink everything. Frank Castle not only completed Marine Corps training, but went even further, mastering Krav Maga, Muay Thai, Ninjutsu, and other martial arts. In the comics, such as Punisher Max, he's shown taking down enemies in hand-to-hand -hand combat with brutal precision. In The Punisher, Year One, we see a young Frank Castle training obsessively, already displaying the relentless focus that defines him. Elite soldier training is already exhausting. They spend weeks under extreme physical and mental stress. A typical workout can burn up to 6,000 calories a day, while a soldier carries between 55 and 100 pounds of gear. Frank Castle does all that and still fights like there's no tomorrow. In real life, such excessive training causes joint pain, muscle injuries, and heat exhaustion syndrome, as reported by many military veterans. You can improve your conditioning, but the human body has its limits. In the Netflix series, we see a more human side of the Punisher. He's often injured, exhausted, and sometimes emotionally destroyed. The constant portrayal of trauma makes it clear. Maintaining that pace is practically impossible for a normal person. But hang in there. We're moving on to the next part of this brutal journey, which will showcase how hard it is to be Frank Castle. Frank Castle isn't just an incredible fighter, he's also a walking arsenal. In the comics, like the Punisher War Journal and Punisher Armory, he carries assault rifles, grenades, pistols, knives, and a customized Kevlar bulletproof vest. In specific issues such as Punisher, War Zone, he even uses heavy weaponry, including rocket launchers. But let's look at the numbers. A standard rifle like the M4 weighs about 7.5 pounds without ammo. Add another 4.4 pounds for a bunch of loaded magazines. Grenades weigh roughly 0.9 pounds each. Now multiply all that for a full arsenal. In the series, the Punisher often carries enough weapons to outfit a small army. Is that even possible? Real soldiers can carry up to 100 pounds of equipment, but that kind of weight comes at a price. Back problems? chronic knee pain, and repetitive stress injuries are common in the military. Frank Castle seems to ignore these consequences, but in real life, his body would quickly give out under such a load. Need to run or dodge while carrying all that? Almost impossible. The comics grant him near superhuman mobility, but in reality, you'd probably need a wheelchair after just one day of hauling his arsenal around. Have you ever tried to catch something falling in midair? Well, the Punisher does that in the middle of shootouts. In the comics, such as the Punisher, born, he reacts in fractions of a second, dodging bullets and disarming enemies with incredible moves. There are also moments in Punisher Max where he anticipates attacks and acts with surgical precision. Science tells us the average human reaction time is about 250 milliseconds. Trained athletes can get that down to 200 milliseconds. That might seem fast, but it's still an eternity compared to the Punisher's almost instantaneous reflexes. Factor in the stress of a gunfight, and reaction times can drop by about 20% due to increased cortisol and fatigue. In the Netflix series, Frank's occasional hesitations show he's not completely infallible, but in the comics, he seems to predict his enemy's moves. That's clearly a narrative convenience. In real life, no amount of training could make you react so quickly and accurately. The Punisher seems almost invulnerable in the comics. In Punisher, welcome back, Frank. He takes bullets, punches, and explosions, yet keeps on fighting. In Punisher Max, he survives injuries that would disable any ordinary person. But medicine has something else to say. Gunshot wounds cause extensive damage. A bullet can destroy organs, shatter bones, and cause fatal bleeding. The impact alone can generate up to 3,000 joules of force, depending on the weapon. What about recovery time? A serious injury can require months or even years of therapy. The Netflix series portrays this well. Frank Castle constantly deals with pain and scars, both physical and emotional. In real life, no one could survive the amount of trauma he regularly endures. Even if you were extremely tough, repeated injuries build up damage over time. Studies show frequent trauma can lead to chronic pain 
and reduced mobility. If the Punisher were real, he'd likely be in constant rehabilitation and reliant on powerful painkillers. If Frank Castle existed in the real world, he'd have to deal with the limits of the human body. After a day of intense combat, he'd likely need at least two days of rest to recover from minor injuries and muscle fatigue. Studies on high-performance athletes show that intense workouts require proportional rest periods to avoid overtraining. On top of that, lack of sleep and poor nutrition, both common in combat situations, would reduce his reaction time and physical strength. Frank would also face severe psychological stress, often depicted in the comics, such as Punisher Max. In reality, such stress could lead to a mental collapse after just a few months of continuous action. If he kept up a constant combat schedule, his body would last only a few years at most before showing chronic wear and tear, like permanent joint pain and reduced lung capacity from exposure to explosions and gunpowder fumes. Being the Punisher is more than a matter of strength or training. It's a challenge that goes beyond human limits. The human body simply wasn't designed to withstand what Frank Castle goes through. Even with the best military training, the combination of physical trauma, heavy gear, and near superhuman reflexes is unattainable in real life. So, after all this, do you still want to be the Punisher? Or would you rather watch his exploits from the comfort of your couch? Leave your opinion in the comments and share how you'd handle a day in Frank Castle's shoes. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to explode that subscribe and like button.